going to make some pistachio shortbread. This is my absolute favorite. I love pistachios in any way, shape, or form. In this bowl, I have one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, and then I took some shelled pistachios, and I put them in my food processor, and I uh, ground them finely till I made one cup, and then I added one third cup of sugar. This recipe can't be any easier. I just put those three ingredients in here and mixed them up. Then I have one cup or two sticks of butter. And we're going to put that in here. And we are going to put this on the mixer until we get a nice dough. There's no other flavoring, no vanilla. I think there's so much butter and the pistachios will come through a lot stronger if we don't add another flavor such as vanilla. Whoa, it's jumping out at me. That's because the butter is still cold. It's not hard cold. It's um, cold, but still a little bit soft. Kind of hard to describe, but you don't want it room temperature so that it's really soft, because then you'll just make a paste here and not a dough. And here we go. Now what I'm going to do is, after this forms a dough, I'm going to divide it in half. I'm going to roll each half, and then I'm going to cut them into small cookies. Then we're going to bake them in a 325 degree oven for about 15 or 18 minutes. And then you have an option later on after they're done. You can either leave them plain like that, or you can dip some half in white chocolate, which is really good. Okay, that dough is done. You can dip them half in white chocolate and then sprinkle a few more pistachios on top. That makes it more rich and more festive. So if you were going to do this around the holidays, that would look really nice on your cookie platter. Not to mention they would taste wonderful. But they are good all on their own without any adornment. Okay, so go. Let's get rid of this. Get my cookie sheet out. And as I said, we'll do, yeah, you know what, I'm going to work with the whole dough. It says, the recipe originally says to work half at a time, but I'm going to work the whole thing. I'm going to put a little bit of flour. with the pin so it doesn't stick and probably like quarter inch half inch thick you can feel this dough it's the butter it's so buttery it's just your hands get covered in it it's delicious I have to keep doing the pin because there's so much butter it starts sticking. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can see all the flecks of the pistachios in there. Okay. That's about thick enough. Now, I'm going to dip my cookie cutter. I think I'll use the fluted side. Sometimes it gets hard to cut through because you're hitting a nut. So I will just keep cutting cookies. You don't have to worry about them being too close on the cookie sheet. These are not going to spread that much. I'll keep cutting my cookies and putting them on the sheet until we fill it up and then again it'll go into that 325 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes and then we'll show you what they look like when they come out
We've cut out all the pistachio cookies. I kind of cleaned up the counter a bit. My oven's on 325. I'm going to put them in for about 12 to 15 minutes. I'll keep checking because these are small cookies. They may cook faster. Usually I make them about that big, about twice the size. I don't want them to get too brown around the edges. And then we're going to have some very delicious cookies. All right, there's the pistachio shortbread out of the oven. They're not really browned. You don't really want it to be too brown. I can just see a slight color around the edges. Now what they need to do is sit on the cookie sheet and cool completely, and then we can make a cup of tea and have a really good treat for ourselves.